The Hidden Face or La Cara Ocuta. Es la obra maestra de mi marido y su más oscuro secreto. The Hidden Face is a Spanish Colombian thriller movie about a guy moving on really fast after his girlfriend dumps him and his new side piece thinks the house is haunted. That's pretty much it. This really is as much of a thriller as Sausage Party is a comedy. I relish the fact that you mustered the strength to catch up to me. Well, this is pretty typical for the Halloween movie marathon. I don't know if I've brought it up before, but just as a quick refresher, this is the sixth year me and my siblings have watched 31 horror movies in 31 days for the month of October. We each pick five, plus a few extras in case of duplicates, then one of us organizes it so we all watch the same movies on the same day and then we talk about them. And even though we technically can pick a movie from a previous year as long as it wasn't picked the last year or the year before that, almost no one does it. So we are always watching or picking new things that at least some of us or most of us haven't seen. And with that, we all typically go in as blind as possible. <laughs> But because of that, there are some inherent risks. Some of the movies absolutely suck, but there are some movies that say that they are horrors or thrillers, and this movie is technically is technically classified as a thriller, but it really isn't. If I sound bored during my recap and breakdown, that's why. Enough of this pish. Let's get spooky. The movie starts off with our main guy, Adrian, listening to a video recording of his girlfriend, Mesera, telling him that she's leaving him for someone else and to not look for her. He gets depressed and goes out for a drink. As the bar closes, he gets into a fight with a guy and he gets the shit kicked out of him, so his waitress or bartender sees him all beat up, feels bad for him, so she takes him back to her place. Good thing they're both hot, because if one of them wasn't, Eh, this scene just wouldn't be the same. Or it just would be very unlikely. I'm, I'm offended! So he feels bad about being at her place pretty quickly, so he bounces. He comes back the next night and apologizes to the waitress, and he makes it up to her by taking her to his concert hall because he is a conductor, which just makes her swoo all over him, and then they go back to his place and we see some titties! <laughs> Couldn't help it. Honestly, this actress or character, or however you want to see it, is super comfortable being naked in this movie. Just an FYI. The next morning they are having breakfast, and yeah, if you woke up in a house as nice as this one, you would not be doing the walk of shame the next morning. You would do whatever you could to make sure that you could stick around. Some detectives come over to the place and let Adrian know that there are no updates on his girlfriend's whereabouts. He explains to Belen, the waitress, that she ran off with some guy, which reassures her that she didn't just sleep with a piece of shit. But wait, we are just getting started here. So Belen takes a bath and notices some ripples in the water, but there are no drips coming from the faucet, which makes her freak out. She even takes a shower later on and the hot water goes crazy on her at random. She also hears things coming from the bathroom sink. Adrian gets a call from the detective saying that they think they found the body of his girl, so he goes to check out the body, but turns out it wasn't her, so he goes back to his place and tells Belen the news, and she responds with an abrupt, I love you. She then glares at the mirror and we get probably the worst jump scare I've ever seen. Everything is off, the face looks terrible, the scream isn't that loud, there's no loud music to shock you into paying attention to this mostly snooze fest of a movie. It's like the people who made this scene looked up how to do a jump scare and did the opposite of all the key points. At this point, the movie does a flashback, and it tells the entire origin story of Adrian and his ex, Mesera. He got the job to be a conductor in Bogota, the capital of Colombia, and he asks her to come with him. They go and we get an introduction of the house owned by a woman who was married to a German guy who is now dead. She rents out the place to them and asks them to take care of her dog while she's away. Adrian and Mesera settle in and we don't know exactly how long they've been there for, but Mesera catches Adrian being a little too close to one of his violinists. They have a bit of a fight and she talks to the house owner about it who suggests that she tests his love for her. Mesera asks how, and the housewoman shows her a secret hidden room in the bookshelf, which is basically a bunker that her husband built. He came over from Germany and was paranoid that people would come looking for him. If you're getting Nazi impressions here, you'd be absolutely right, because that's exactly who he was. So Mesera does exactly what she suggests. She pretends to leave and makes the video for Adrian. He immediately is broken up about it, and she tries to get out to get their relationship back on track. 
problem is, is that she left the key to get out outside. I mean, this is a kind of oh shit kind of moment, but what kind of dumbass would make it so there's no other way to get out of there without the key? Like, I get that you need a key to get in, but there's only one way to get in and out. So the idea of there only being a key and only one way to get out from the inside is pretty dumb. What if you misplace the key while you're inside and freak the fuck out? There is about 40 to 50 minutes left in the movie and we see Miss Etta try to get out, but she can't. Now the movie overlaps with the first half and we see it all from her perspective. The last 15 minutes or so, we're all caught up and Miss Etta is able to communicate with Belen through the ripples in the water that she is trapped. Belen finds the key and the keyhole to let her out, but since she's a gold digging whore, she decides to leave Miss Etta trapped in the hidden room to starve to death. <laughs> what a cutthroat bitch. But the detective from before has a crush on Belen and tells her that Adrian has been hooking up with the violinist again. So Belen is like, nah, maybe I don't want to be with this guy. So she decides to let Meseta out. And Meseta is passed out on the bed inside. And when Belen gets too close, Meseta smashes a bottle over her head and locks her in there. The movie ends with Meseta on the beach looking at the ocean. Adrian finds a photo of them and the key to the hidden room and Belen stuck inside the hidden room, which she will most likely starve to death in. And that's it. This movie is pretty eh, mostly because I thought it was going to be a horror or at least a thriller. Maybe that's my fault for expecting that it would be something like that, but the movie with the jump scare did kind of imply that this could be a ghost story, but it never was, so eh. Halfway through the movie, the mystery is just told to us, so there really isn't anything to actually figure out on our end. Also, this shouldn't be considered a thriller. It's a drama about a guy who can't stop sleeping around with other chicks, one dumb bitch who thought pretending to leave her boyfriend was a good idea to test their relationship, and another psycho bitch who was ready to leave a chick to die just so she could take her life. Don't worry, tomorrow we're gonna do the blob and it'll be a goodie. Now, man is no longer the supreme being on this planet.